Hey cakey people, welcome back. Today we're doing this little ombre cake. So we've got six inch crumb coated cake and we're using this nifty tool by Wilton to mark out the lines on the side so we know where to go to. Using a piping bag to pipe the buttercream on so that we get nice neat lines and transitions between the different colors of buttercream. And then once we pipe the three colors on, we're going to use a bench scraper to scrape it back off again, make it nice and neat. This has got ganache plates above and below it. Um, and then we're using that bench scraper, cleaning it off in between each scrape so that we get it nice and neat. And then next we're moving on to the monogram for the front, um, using a bit of sugar paste here, and then using a stamp. You can't get these stamps anymore, but I have linked one that's really close to these down below, as well as the gold and the cutter. Pretty much everything I used in this video is linked down below, so check those out. And then we're using a zero brush to paint into that impression that we've just made with some fake hay hill gold luster dust mixed with rejuvenator and next we're going to move on to the little decoration on the top the little ducky so for that we need a six inch board and then just painting on a bit of water and pop in some sugar paste on the top there flip it over because that makes it much easier to get a neat edge and then we cut it out with the knife there we go and then wait for me to catch up with myself we're gluing on the little monogram on the front there and then moving on to the duck so i just kind of rolled it between my hands to make it nice and smooth and get rid of all the lines and any marks that might have been in it and then just using a few rudimentary tools straightforward tools nothing special to make the shape and my hands smoothing it out making that tail nice and smooth I wanted a really clean look for this cake so we wanted to make sure that there were no lines or imperfections left behind and then once we've done the body shape and we're happy with that I'm going to move on to the head of which we've got a rolled out ball of sugar paste and also going to pop a little support in the middle there um, to make sure that his head doesn't fall off because nobody wants his head falling off in the middle of their party do they and we've also got some sugar pearls that we're going to use for eyes in a minute so just measuring the stick there to make sure his head stays on popping that in a bit of edible glue and then popping the head on there we go just putting the glue underneath there there we go okay so and then we're going to pop some sugar pearls in for the eyes making a little indentation with our tools Again, putting a little bit of glue and some black sugar pearls. I've linked those down below as well if you need those. They come in really handy for things like this. And then we're going to glue the little guy onto his little board that we did just a minute ago. There we go. And next comes the beak. So I used yellow sugar paste, but I did intend to... This gets painted gold later on, but yellow just means that the gold, if you don't quite get it all the way around, it doesn't show like it would on white. And then using a tiny support there and popping the beak on. Really simple, straightforward. Just use the angled spatula to make the shape there. And you can see just in that shot there that I've already painted it gold there. And then we're rolling out some more yellow for stars, the stars on the front. Again, these get painted gold later on. And again, same theory, the yellow is close to the gold, so you don't notice it when you don't get quite round the edges. You could make these ahead of time and paint them gold in advance. I didn't for this cake. Um, usually I probably would. I would probably make things as much as possible in advance and paint them in advance. But this one I didn't. I glued them on and then I painted them on the day. But hey, that's the way things go sometimes. So next, popping them onto the cake. You can see my messy kitchen in the background. I do apologise. The little sugar paste bucket there, just making its appearance. I do like a bit of the sugar paste. It's really good stuff. So yeah, popping these on in any kind of fashion, just to make sure that we're giving them a nice bit of glue behind. Make sure they stick on. Um, if your sugar paste hasn't crusted, it would probably just, sorry, sugar paste, buttercream, hasn't frosted, crusted. I'm not drunk, I promise. Then it would easily stick without needing that. That little bit of purple is um, where I mix purple into the blue and it didn't quite all mix in. Unfortunately, there was nothing I could do about it at this stage. So there we go, quick time gold painting. And back onto little Mr. Ducky. We're just popping some double-sided tape around the edge so that we can put some ribbon to cover up that edge because, of course, we want it to look nice and neat and all blend 
and be all pretty and perfect. So double-sided tape is uh, very much used in my house, quite a lot for cakes and such. I did use a low board on this one. It's a six millimeter board, so I didn't put ribbon around the edge of the actual board the cake sat on. I'm really loving these boards at the minute. They're fantastic and they look great for this kind of cake. We don't really want a thick board. And then I used a tiny bit of buttercream, as you can see here, to attach the little ducky onto the top. We did put him onto a separate board um, because the client wanted to be able to save it afterwards as a keepsake. If your client didn't want to, you wouldn't have to use the board. I thought it was a nice finishing touch and really took it up that notch just a little bit. So, yeah, there we go. All done. Remember to like and follow. Thanks, guys.